Hey, it's your main man, e Vapor. e Vapor Tesla Racing. Like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video, man, we're gonna walk through supercharging your Tesla. So we're at the supercharger right now. Let's go ahead and hop out real quick, then we'll come back in here and um look at the controls on the screen. Turn that video down. All right, so. Oh, we might need to back up some. Let's see what kind of space we got here. You can touch that. All right, here we go. Real simple and easy, man. You grab your charger. Uh-oh, hopefully we're close enough. Press a little button there, like magic, it opens up for you. Bang, we're charging. Now we wanna um, take a look at our screen to see how long we need to be here. And of course, how far you're traveling, that matters too. But let's see. So we're at our destination. We got here, obviously, with 31% on here. So we don't need to go all the way up to 98%. We, When you're traveling, you want to take it all the way up to 90-something. So that way you're getting the, the most distance out of your battery. So if we keep it as presently constituted, it'll take us 45 minutes um, to fully charge to 98%. To go from 30, 31% up to about 98 percent and that's fast that is super charging because at home um it would take about three hours for for um three about three and a half hours to go from about 30 percent to about 98 so when you're on the road you don't always have to charge up to 98 so let's say we were actually going uh, let's say to a different destination it, it might would have us charge here for 20 minutes enough to get us safely to the next charging station so when you start thinking about buying a tesla looking at teslas and the costs associated with charging i mean it's not even comparable to gas because literally you know in in dollars I, I would say and i'm just basing this on being at home um in dollars this would probably be about three dollars three dollars and fifty cents to charge this car up now you tell me let me look in the camera you tell me where y'all filling y'all gas tanks up for three dollars and fifty cent. Where, 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 what gas station is that for three dollars and fifty cent? The whole car filled up. And then there's zero emissions <laughs> for the environment. You know what I'm saying? So, so if you do have low gas prices, just just let me know if if that those gas fumes disappear. You know, and and it's zero emissions into the sky. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway. Um, supercharging it is it is not hard to do um, there are superchargers everywhere like let's take a look at the map again so this is a list and you hit this button here on the side the little lightning bolt bang and it brings up all of the different superchargers that are close by obviously with zero miles that's where we are currently here in Myrtle Beach but it shows you the different superchargers that are in the area and if I were to put a destination in like hey I'm going back home to uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. And me already knowing this, this we would not need to charge to get home. It's only 111 miles from here to um, our house. But no matter where you're going, it's gonna show you all of the different charges. It'll even show you like the regular chargers, the, the, the chargers that are not, um, you know, superchargers, the level one chargers. The, the, basically there's a, an adapter piece that the Tesla has that you can use it with any charger that you know charges up Priuses that charges up any of the other electric cars that universal adapter you can charge there will it take longer absolutely absolutely it will but I've taken this car from North Carolina all the way up to Maryland I've taken this car from North Carolina all the way down to our Orlando down to Disney and there are plenty of superchargers uh, along the way and when you're at home day to day you don't need to worry about supercharging because right at home right at home we plug it up into our tesla wall charger so even if i didn't have the tesla wall charger which it costs 500 dollars for the tesla wall charger and for the model y we get about 44 miles an hour of charging because you see how the supercharger says 469 miles an hour that's supercharging now at home it would say about 44 miles an hour supercharging is crazy 
So yeah, 44 miles an hour with the Tesla wall mount. Um, if you go with the, um, I think it's called the 240, basically the dryer plug in your garage, you're gonna get about 29 miles an hour. 29 miles an hour. And if you go with the level one, the, the, the home charger that plugs into the regular household plug, you basically 24 hours to get a full charge overnight. You know, it's gonna take that long because again, it's just regular house plug. Which, but the good thing about that, no matter where you are, you can find a regular house plug. You know, if you were in a situation, you went to go see auntie and grandma and them down in the country, down a long dirt road, way back in the country. As long as there's a house plug back there, you can make it out from the back country road from grandma and them house. All right. So make sure y'all like this video. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all give it a big thumbs up. Make sure y'all share this video out too. All right. We definitely appreciate it. It's your man, Manny Vapors. E Vapors Tesla Racing. We out.